thanks for watching. In this short video, we will cover the RUT955 router from Teltonica. We'll walk through what comes in the box, the different ports and connectors, and the functionality of the LED lights. Let's get started by covering what comes in the box. To start, there is a quick start guide that offers instructions on how to get your device up and running. There is also an overview card of the remote management tools. As these devices are often used in rugged and industrial applications, two different plugs are included. The first is an RS-485 plug, which has six different connection points. A guide outlines the port layout. There is also a valuable 10-pin input-output plug. Input outputs are very powerful as they can provide the ability to gather information from and to control remote devices. To enable connectivity for another device, there is a 1.5 meter or 5 foot ethernet cable. The device can be powered by an AC adapter. You also have the option of using DC power. Inside each box, there are five antennas to enable connectivity. Two are for cellular, and as I always say, you should use two cellular antennas to maximize the performance and stability of your connection. There are two Wi-Fi antennas to connect other devices to the router, and there is a GPS antenna for location-based information. Let's start on the front side. There is a four-pin power socket. The first pin in the upper left is the power, which uses a red color wire. The second in the top right is the ground, indicated by a black cable. The third is the input pin, a green cable in the lower left, and finally in the lower right, there is an output pin, indicated by a white cable. There is an RS-232 serial port interface for you to use. This port is very heavily used in many industrial applications. Next to the serial port is where you would attach the input-output plug to gain its valuable functionality. Up in the top right corner, there is an RS-45 interface which uses the plug we spoke about earlier in the video. To finish off this side of the router, there are four ethernet ports to enable connectivity. The one on the far right is for WAN connectivity, while the remaining ones provide LAN-based connections. We will cover the LED lights on the ports in the next segment. Moving on to the back panel, we will start with the two SIM slots. This is where you would insert the SIM card from your carrier. Using two SIMs at the same time is ideal for a high level of uptime, which is crucial for many applications. This device allows for USB-based connectivity via the connector in the bottom left corner. It is advisable to not use USB in mobile or high vibration environments due to its lack of a locking mechanism. In the rare event that the router is not functioning as desired, there is a reset button. And lastly, there are five antenna ports on the device. Two are for cellular connectivity, two are for Wi-Fi, and one is for GPS. There are many LED lights on the router to provide you with valuable information. The first we'll cover is the power LED light. Located next to the power connector, it will turn its LED light on when the router is powered up. If the light is off, the router is not receiving sufficient power or is off. There are LED lights to indicate the status of each of the Ethernet ports. If the light is turned on when a cable is attached, the port is operating at 10100 megabit per second connection speed. If the light is off, there is no link established. To indicate activity across the port, the LED light will blink. Finally, if the lights light up and turn off in sequence, this tells you that the router is in bootloader menu state. Please refer to your user manual for more details on that. The final set of lights are to provide information about your cellular connection. There's a single light to the left. If this light is alternating between green and red, you either have no SIM card inserted or a bad pin. If the light is alternating between green, red, and orange, it is attempting a connection. Once connected, the light will blink every second to indicate which cellular technology you are currently using. If it blinks red, you are using 2G. If it's orange, you're using a 3G network. And if it's blinking green, you're using a blazing fast 4G network. Once you start to send or receive data, 
the light will blink very rapidly. Again, corresponding with the cellular technology that you were using. To recap, red for 2G, orange for 3G, and green for 4G. And finally, similar to your cell phone, the router will use the BARS method of telling you the level of cellular signal strength that it currently has. Like your phone, the more bars, the better. If you're consistently getting three bars or less, you may wish to consider using a stronger antenna setup or moving the device to a different location. For more details on the dB value that each light indicates, please refer to your user manual. Many thanks for taking time to watch this video. It is part of a series of videos to help you get started in the world of IoT. We look forward to hearing from you. Please use the contact information on the screen. Thank you.